Hello, welcome back to Mr. Miles Maths. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to be looking at directed numbers, which is just a fancy way of saying positive and negative numbers, we're looking at in particular adding and subtracting them. And what happens when you get two signs together, kind of because of that, which we'll look in the second part of the video. Um, enjoy. So I'm going to draw myself a number line to start with. Um, I suggest you do the same. It doesn't need to be particularly long. Uh, we're going to put the zero slap down in the middle of things. And hopefully we recognize the positive must always go to the right hand side. Not sure which way that is to you, but to the right hand side. And um, so we've got numbers that go up by one. So I've got my squares to help me in this video. One, two, three, four, etc. Just going up by ones. And it doesn't matter kind of where you get up to. I'm going to just go up to eight because that gives me a little bit of flexibility in that side of things. So the negative numbers are just an extension of the number line. Okay, people kind of get a bit scared by negative numbers, but it's just the same in the opposite direction to the positive numbers um, from zero. So minus one is closest to zero. And then we carry on minus two, minus three, etc. Okay, now I've got room down to about minus six. Let's put minus seven on the end as well there. Okay, so it's just an extension of our, our number line. Whenever I'm adding something in maths, I always head to the, to the right-hand side. So once I've decided I'm adding, I go that way to the right. And if I've decided I'm subtracting, I'll be going to the left-hand side. That's really important throughout all this. And your starting point is really important. Is the number that I'm starting at positive or negative? And from there, you should be able to figure things out. So let's go straight in with the question. So directed numbers does just mean that uh, you've got positives and positives, and you've also got positives with negatives. So let's have a look at something like four plus seven. This is directed numbers, which should be an insult to us. Four add seven is just simply 11. Okay, nice and straightforward. And obviously I've got things like subtractions. So I've got things like eight minus five, and the answer to that will be three. Okay, again, simple arithmetic should be fine. Don't really need a number line for this at this stage, I hope. Um, but if we start getting numbers where we're subtracting numbers that are bigger than the number I'm starting with, so for example, three minus nine, then this, obviously we'll go past zero. Okay, so obviously, hopefully it's obvious because the number I'm subtracting, the minus nine, that is more negative than the three and therefore it's gonna go through zero. Okay, we talk about numbers being, a number being bigger the more positive it is. So minus one at this point here would be bigger than minus four. Minus four is more negative, minus one is more positive. So if I'm starting at three, on my number line, I kind of start here, there's my three. And if I'm taking nine away, the best way I think of doing this is to check whether or not it goes to zero. This will go through zero because the number I'm subtracting is bigger than the number I'm taking away from. Then I use zero as a midpoint because zero is so easy to use because to get to zero, I just have to subtract whatever number I've got. To get from seven to zero, I subtract seven. To get from 12 to zero, I subtract 12. So if I'm doing three minus nine, I know I'll be taking away three to get to zero. And then you just need to think in terms of the difference between three and nine, what, what I've got left to subtract. So then I've got another six to subtract. So I'd end up here. Okay, so this would be minus six. There's lots of different ways of thinking about this. You might find things that work well for you, but three minus nine, I always try and use the zero. So I'll take three away and then I'll have another six to take nine away in total. If I think of nine as three and another six, and that should make things a little bit easier. So I end up at minus six here. That's how it works. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So I'll just get rid of that, uh, number four. So let's do another one. Let's do minus two, minus three. So again, this time, this is where I talked about the start point being important. Minus two is my starting point. So I'm gonna start here on my number line. And if I'm taking three away, I'm moving in the negative direction. So three away is gonna take me to minus five. Minus two, minus three is minus five. And the best way of doing this is just to keep practicing it as much as possible and you'll, you know, you'll get quicker at it and more confident with it as well. Like, like lots of things in maths. Okay, there's minus two, minus three. Uh, let's have another look at another one. So let's do minus six plus four. So again, if I think of where I'm starting, I'm starting at minus six and I'm adding four on. So it's gonna get one, two, three, four bigger. I'm gonna end up at minus two. Minus six plus four. Minus two, you can still see the link between six and four. You've got to be careful whether your answer here is positive or whether it's negative. Number six, let's do four minus eight. So starting here. So again, taking away eight, I like to think, well, I've got four to take away to get to zero. That's nice and easy because I'm at four to start with. So take away four and then how much of eight have I got left to take away? That will be another four. So I end up at 
minus four. Okay, the best thing you can do is just to practice lots and lots of questions on this so that you get more and more comfortable with using the negative numbers and kind of going beyond zero in the other direction. Um, but this also op opens up a kind of question, which is, well, what happens if, because I've now got positive numbers and I've got negative numbers, what happens if I want to add a negative number or if I want to subtract a negative number? If they're numbers just like positive numbers are, how does that kind of work? So we'll have a little look at this as well. So again, this is where we're going to find two signs together. So if we have something like minus 5, minus, minus 3, where does that leave us? So there's rules to learn for this, um, and the rules that I would learn is if you have two signs that are the same, that always means that we are adding. So if we're adding a positive or subtracting a negative, they kind of cancel each other out and has the reverse effect with the negatives. This is always adding. And if you've got two signs that are different, like plus minus or minus plus, so only one negative sign, this means that we are subtracting. So two signs the same, we add, two different signs we subtract in this case. So minus five, minus, minus three, we start at minus five, bring back it to the number line. And then if I'm minusing minus three, I'll actually add three on. So I'm moving the positive direction and that will take me to negative two. That's how it works. Number eight. And remember, if you want to pause the video at any stage just to take a few notes or think about this, then please do, if it's a little bit too quick. Okay, so again, let's have something else. Let's have 4 plus minus 6. So in this case, oops, sorry, my pen's not working. Pen stopped. Pen back. 3, 2, 1. So, sorry, my pen stopped working then. If I have something like 4 plus minus 6, again, I'm starting with 4, so I can pick my original point here, which is there. If I'm adding minus, that means that it's the same as subtracting. I can kind of just ignore the positive sign if the positive sign is there. So this becomes 4 minus 6. I'm going through 0, so it's going to take me 4 to get there, and then another 2 to get rid of my minus 6 in total. There's my total minus 6. So I'll be minus 2. Same as the last one, just a coincidence. Okay, I'm going to draw myself another number line just under this, so I don't have to keep scrolling back. Put zero in the middle somewhere. I'm going to just go from minus five up to five. Okay, so number nine, let's start at uh, two and subtract positive six. So two minus positive six, so again, minus positive, I'll just remind ourselves here by putting um, my two signs that are the same. This means I'll be adding two signs that are different. That means I'll be subtracting. So two minus plus six, so I start at two, and minus plus means I'm taking six away, so I'm gonna get more negative. 2 to get to 0, and another 4 to get to minus 4. So 2 minus 6, which is minus 4. And then we can look at 2 plus signs, but 3 plus plus 1. Plusing a plus is just what we always do with maths. With when you do when you're a lot longer, it's just add, a lot younger, sorry, it's just adding on. So 3 plus plus 1 is just simply 4. Two positives is just addition. So I just move one up my number line, three up to four. Um, there's lots of questions available for this, so please just practice. If, you, if you've got anything, any questions, please just ask in the comments below. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you like the, like the video. Keep watching other videos. Um, and if you've got any requests for videos, then please let me know in the comments below and I can make videos on whatever you like. I've got kind of a running order of things I'm going to do. But if you like videos on something in particular that you were requesting, then please ask. Thank you, see ya.